Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a Halloween inspired nail set. I am using liquid silver which is from Glitter Bells and I'm going to be using Exit from Moira. Now last week you will know that when it came to doing a Halloween set I was in a bit of a grump. I was but I am not in a grump with this set. Oh no, no. I saw these water decals and I thought, yeah, do you know what? It, it just kind of reminds me of, like Terry Pratchett. Um, and I was kind of like going, oh, do I go through uh, some kind of theme with that? And I thought, mm. And when I was looking through my stamping plates, um, I found these ones that looked like lightning. And I thought, ooh, oh, do you know what? There's a plan form in here. <laughs> so what I needed was a base for this. Um, I love liquid silver. It's beautiful. Uh, Exit is a little bit trickier to work with um, than your normal Moira. And that's because it is full of glitter. Um, really, really super fine glitter in there. Um, I've, I've sped this bit up because honestly, I'm just doing exactly the same on all of these nails. This is This is the, you know, not so fun part. Well, it is fun. I enjoy it. But we want to get on. We want to move on to the next parts. <gasps> I really, really love this set. I just, oh, you know, when it just all comes together and you go, yes, and you have a really good nail play day. Um, so other than having a bit of a fight with Exit, which you can't see the glitter that great in this, but don't worry. When we top coat these babies... You're going to see... Well, actually, I say that. You're possibly not, actually. Because <laughs> of what I'm going to do um, on top of these black nails. But, um, but yeah, in, in, the, in the light, it's got like a... It, it, I think it's like a greeny tinge um, to the glitter, um, which you can just see sparkle through. And, you know, depending on what you're watching this on, you may be able to see that sparkle whilst I'm doing this. Uh, now, obviously, when you're using a dark colour, make sure you wipe your brush a lot because uh, you don't want to contaminate uh, your monomer and you don't want to uh, spread it onto different products. Um, I tried various different ways of trying to use um, this black and in, in the end, it was just like, you just got to layer it up. It's as simple as that. Um, it, it's just got so much glitter in it, which is never a bad thing. We like glitter. Glitter is good. Glitter makes us happy. <laughs> right so i'm going to finish off this nail and then and because originally i was going to do this as a short set actually because the water decals are small uh water decals but i was like do you know what no no this this needs to be big this needs to be stilettos this yeah Right, so I have capped all of these. I have filed them. Look at that, I'm even pointing to you. Look, so that was base gel on nail, cured. <laughs> and then I'm going to come in with the water decal. So just dab off the excess water and I'm just using my uh, jelly stamper to take that decal off. And it is that easy. Look, it sticks to that. Pull the backing down. Voila. Look at him. Isn't he awesome? Yeah. He's one epic dude. I really like him. Um, It didn't matter the fact that this water decal didn't quite fit. Because obviously it's black and towards the edges of the decal it was black anyway. So not fussed about that in the slightest. Um, I'm just going to take off the edges there and then I will top coat them now with this um oh no I don't actually no no we've got something else beautiful going on before we top coat them <sighs> because he is not epic enough he needs more epicness um <laughs> but yeah the the this one was the little finger one so they, they were quite wide water decals these ones actually they were from Charlie's Nail um, supplies and, and this is what I've said water decals they just come in such varying sizes I bought 
you know, decals all from the same place, but they were all slightly different. Um, but I really wanted to use him. He he's he's a funky dude, and uh, yeah. So then I'm going to come in this. This is striping tape, but it's got little crystals on it, and I got this from Neo Nails um, in their nail art supplies. I'm pretty certain that's where I got this from. Um, I love this stuff. I love it. It sticks. It just, yeah, it sticks really, really well. Um, Because I just, I want to frame this dude. Yeah. So I'm going to stick that on um, to the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to top coat over the top of them. Um, I will do two top coats. So I will do the first coat, floaty that on. Um, cure it for 15 seconds, put the second one on, cure that for 30 seconds, um, because mine is a 30 second cure. Top coat. Okay, so there we go, that's the second one. See, isn't it awesome? Oh, it just gets even better in a minute. So now, I'm just going to do the top coat part as described a moment ago yes shona put your voice over in the right way for your video <laughs> you know me by now i just kind of waffle i go with it i'm not fully paying attention to what the video is doing i like to have a chat so here we go floaty floaty over the top um i'm gonna like, watch this and then we'll move on to the next bit Okay, so now we are going to do some stamping. We are going to be doing a double stamping, so a layered stamping, um, which this plate is fantastic for. And I had forgotten all about it. I am just using normal nail varnish. Um, this one that I'm coming on is, is kind of a uh, lilac-y colour, actually. Um, well, it's, it's kind of like a light blue lilac. -y, yeah, I don't know. But it went really nicely with the colour in the picture. And it is from Avon, actually. It's one of Avon's gel polishes, uh, but they're not actual gel. They're gel. They're, they're a nail varnish that's supposed to look like it was a gel. Yeah, whatever the hell that means, really. Uh, in my book, it's either varnish or it's gel. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's because it's really highly pigmented, um, it actually stamps fine. And then uh, when I come along for the next one, I will be using OPI. Um, which is a great product, again, for stamping with if you just want to use normal polish. And the great thing about using um, uh, normal polish is, that you, you know, if you just put it on your natural nail, just put it over normal nail varnish, stamp over with some more varnish, it's easy to take off if you want to change the design. Mm. So you already get the idea of this, this effect going on in this but then the opi one that i'm going to use is a silver and it's a metallic silver mm. so now you now you see where the uh see there you go that's that's the stuff i'm using and that's the opi stuff do you know what the opi if you've got a factory shop um near you they are generally doing a you get like two opis for eight quid or sometimes three for 10 quid, which normally they're eight pound a bottle. So it's worth going in there. If you're looking for some OPI, pop into the factory shop. I know, I would never have thought that, but there's one near where I work and uh, yeah, I happen to find them. I'm just cleaning my stamping plate off there with some um, acetone. And then we're going to come in and do a little bit more stampy. There we go. And the only thing when you're using varnish is you have to work super, super quick. Um, you know, you, you don't get to faff around like you normally would do if you're using stamping polish or, you know, if you're using gel, then. Yeah, it, it's it's awesome. I'm really starting to like the gel stamping more. Um, 
In fact, I, I really enjoy stamping now that I've got the hang of what the hell I'm doing. Um, I love, I love stamping. Um, yeah, roll on some more stamping. And the clear jelly stamper definitely is, is a must for stamping. I love this, uh, which is from Nail Dot Supplies. I don't know if CJP have brought it to their website yet. It would be helpful because I'm just, you know, you can get everything all in the same place. Right, cleaning down my plate after use. And then we're going to move on to the most amazing part. Here it comes. Here it comes. Look at this. Oh, I just, oh, I love this set. I really, really love this set. Um, I really hope you guys have too. As ever, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!